Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aquarius Weekly Money and Career Reading from June 24th to the 30th, 2024. Aquarius, welcome, welcome. And let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aquarius Weekly Money and Career June 24th to the 30th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the Magic Word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name at the end of the month of June. So this is the last week you have to put your name in the hat if you're interested. Don't forget to be subscribed. This is the week. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's cracking. The tower, okay. Well, you're letting go. You're moving forward. You're moving forward into something smoother, right, with the tower. It can be unexpected. Uh, um, something is making you see this in a different way. This is really putting everything in perspective in your job, in your career, in your life. Maybe this is the moment where you realize that you have to do things differently, uh, have a different approach, approach to okay, let, let's pull these cards. Of have a different approach to um, your career, maybe? Let's see. Four of Swords. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're taking a break. Needing to resource yourself. Take a time out get some rest, whatever it is. Um, important to, you know, meditate, rest, whatever it is uh, that will calm your mind and body. It feels like, well, there is maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn involved here, but you're stepping away from something with the tower. Right, The tower is a moment of awareness. Yes, it can be something suddenly that shifts, that comes in, that changes, that, that sort of pushes you to see things in a different way. It's clarity. The tower is clarity. Clarity on a situation. Clarity on a decision you have to make. Clarity on people, career, job, what's going on. This is a moment of clarity. So it is pushing you to a big change, a change of structure, a change of maybe you're moving, maybe you're building something somewhere else, or maybe you really need to focus on rebuilding somewhere else. When I say rebuilding, it is shifting your mindset. And it's a moment where you're focusing on your new energies. It's a moment where you're highly aware, highly in tune with your intuition, your inner guidance system. In other words, you know. You know. You realize. This is clear, clear in your mind. It's a moment of reckoning, a moment of revelation. It is the opportunity to break free from those old ways, old ways of thinking, old ways of working, old people maybe you have no more connection with or really do not understand what the dynamic is anymore because it's not taking you to where you want to go. Whatever's been holding you back, those old ways of thinking, right? This is the spark that puts everything in perspective to do things differently.
it's a huge transformation. And I think that, I mean, this can be anything. It doesn't have to be massive. It can be something someone said. It's all of a sudden you're aware. All of a sudden you understand. All of a sudden you know. This is not going to work anymore. Has blocked you. Has not worked. These people are not listening to you or you're not on the same wavelength or it's not what you want to do and it's not taking you to where you want to go. This is a moment you, where you understand. And this is a revelation to you. A revelation because your, your energy is rising up. Higher level of awareness. Higher level of awareness to the point where, yes, you are now able to move forward and move out of that fishbowl mindset that you've been in that wasn't serving you or that's not serving you. All right, let's see where this is going. Yes, not surprising. Huge decision here. Change of destiny, obviously, right? You're moving towards something different, but it doesn't have to be you in the 3D moving or you in the 3D changing complete careers or moving cities or wanting to rebuild the house, right? No, this is you in your mind understanding that things are gonna be different. And your approach is different. And you don't want to do that anymore. Now you're ready. That's what it means with the judgment. Between the tower and the judgment, change of destiny. Can be moving. But it's also healing. Healing past wounds, right? It's a, it's a moment of healing and a moment of resurrection, right? Rebirth resurrection people see you again or you see the light again or now you understand or now you know where you're going or now you know what you're not going to do anymore and now you you're paving your new path paving your new path it is a rebirth it is a rebirth because whatever you've been stagnating in you now have the key you now have the key aquarius i'm going to write this sorry here's the It's the key. Sorry, I'm making things move. Um, it's the key to your success or the key to join the right team. Here you are. You're not alone. So here's the key. You, you're, you're now joining a team, joining a job, a company, other people f to build. And so maybe... You didn't know if you wanted to be part of this. Maybe you weren't sure you wanted to do this. Or maybe it's something you really reflected on and you went another way because it wasn't for you at one point. And you had to heal wounds or detach yourself from past triggers, even in your childhood or, you know, just past... Um, uh, uh, the energies you had to surpass yourself to move beyond those energies that were blocking you and I feel like with this tower it's like you felt you had to be vigilant right that you had to it was a risky situation or maybe the past was a risky job or a risky project or you didn't feel completely at ease or completely in your domain, whatever it is, right? And so here, it's an eye-opener. You know now that this is where you want to go. Building, being part of, part of the community, part of the company, part of a, a team. And that is bringing you a sense of peace and harmony. And I think it's also bringing a sense of peace and harmony in your home, within your family. But it is a change of destiny. And it's a rebirth. It's like, it's like you're going to be able to breathe again, even though this may be a couple of months or a couple of years ago, you wouldn't even have thought of this. You weren't ready for this or you didn't want this or whatever it is. Now you're faced with your destiny. And but 
for positive reasons. There is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn involved here. Family, friend, coworker, boss, manager, someone that has financial security, someone very, very comfortable in their career and their finances. This is someone maybe having you join the team. Ten of Cups. Wow, so you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is someone very resourceful. Someone that can help you, guide you, help you find solutions to stabilize your situation, to find harmony. Yeah, it's a new, new way. New direction. Clarity. It is the beginning. Five of Pentacles. You've been frustrated financially. This is something. I feel like this person is helping you. But let's see where this goes. Because you are taking a break. You're having to think this. To, to ground yourself. To be able to make this decision. To shift your journey, your destiny. Yeah, you're at the, the end of a cycle here, the end of a stressful cycle. Maybe you're in another job. Maybe you don't have enough money. Maybe you're frustrated because people are not hearing you. Maybe you. this is just not something that's working for you anymore with the Ten of Wands. But I think it's just the end of that cycle, right? We reach end of cycles. And this has been a stressful one. This has been one with pressure here, pressure from people, people watching you. And here with the Queen of Swords, you're speaking your truth. You're part of this. You're part of this intellectually. You're having discussions. You're empowered. I think you're empowered to do this. You're empowered to be part of this. You're empowered to be part of this team because things are clear. And I think maybe before they weren't clear. Maybe you didn't know your position. Maybe you didn't know what you were going to do there. Maybe it wasn't, it just wasn't the moment. And here with this Queen of Swords, you are now empowered to um, almost like, I, I don't know why I'm hearing clean house. So maybe this is something that before wasn't possible for you or you didn't have the vision or you didn't see yourself there because you didn't feel like you would be independent being able to make independent decisions or be independent in bringing whatever it is you bring to the table, your ideas, discussions, um, responsibilities. What are you going to do there? What's your position going to be? It can be family. So this is, it's almost like you're okay to do this, but it has to be fair. <clears throat> you're all you're okay for criticism but it has to be constructive criticism give me one moment <clears throat> i'm just going to drink a little bit and you don't want and i can see that because there are no cups here there were only the ten of cups you just want harmony but you don't want emotions evolved involved or the Queen of Pentacles doesn't want emotions involved. Involved. So this really represents the importance of making judgment or, you know, decisions or discussions without <coughs> relying on emotions alone. To look at facts and to make decisions with facts only, information only, documents only. And connecting people or connecting with people with these facts, ideas, documents, information. In other words, business only. Not dragging in any drama. Not dragging in any family drama. This is all about business. 
It's all about money and it's all about power. Wow, that's, that's impressive. I'm just writing uh, the title down. Um, it's, 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 it's the key to power. You're, you're getting the keys to power. And that's a change of destiny. So even if this is something, it's almost like you're taking on a business or you're taking on a project. It can be family, doesn't have to be. But you're taking on responsibilities. And that is leading you to, you know, have to think and take a moment to pause on this big life decision but it's also maybe because you don't have enough money or maybe because it's the right thing to do or maybe because it's now it's time because you're going to make more money and there's money there or money to be made because your frustration is finances and you're also reaching again, right? The end of that cycle, the stressful cycle. And you have the Six of Swords as well. You're leaving. Uh, so you're, you're, you're just moving into something smoother. To, so the fact that you're making this decision here, this big decision, this big change, is moving you into something smoother, calmer. Even though it's business only. And harsh words, right? It's all about ideas, business. Let's make this happen. This has to grow. This has, but it's your new direction. Yep. Chariot moving forward. Determined. There's an offer there. Creative offer. Maybe you're taking on the creative side of something. You're freaked out, but you're persevering. And you're using all your resources. But you're powerful here. You really have power here. So this is bringing all forces together, right? And it's, it's bringing all forces for success. Bringing all forces for victory. Nothing's going to stand in your way. But you feel the need that you're going to have to make or take control between the strength and the chariot. It's all about your resources and all about your strength of character. So your intuition is all about putting your ideas, your intellect, your intelligence in this project, business, company, whatever it is, and to have control. To have control over this in this in this environment, and I feel like you're gonna have the ability to have control, like intuitively, achieving achieving balance in this environment, company. It can be family; doesn't have to be. I just see family with the ten of cups. Finding harmony in your family. Finding stability and happiness with family. Achieving a goal. But harnessing power and harnessing control. Wow. Impressive. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aquarius. A weekly. Money and career. And let's see if there's one... A last message for the road, Aquarius. June 24th to the 30th, 2024. It's a powerful reading. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be family, but it's, it's something that's important for you to join this team or to be part of this project or to be part of this, whatever it is. Okay, well, justice is involved. So there's a battle there. Yeah, well, again, the battle. Ego, a lot of ego there. So you're probably not alone. Obviously, you're not alone. 
The power of ego, the power of ideas, intellectual power. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Okay, so who's the boss? Well, there's a moment here of truth with the justice. There's a moment where everybody's going to be set back in their place because this is the way it's happening and this is where you belong or this is what's going to happen. That's the way with the, with the justice, right? With the justice, it's about the right thing to do. To unblock a situation, to find a solution, to open up or to find stability or, or to put everybody back in their place where they belong to be able to move forward in a calmly manner. That's what the justice is all about, doing the right thing. Assessing the situation objectively and finding the balance of power, the power of doing the right thing. Sometimes it's a tough decision, but in finality, the question or the situation is settled and finalized. I'm going to leave it at that. I was going to pull another card, but no, the question is finalized. Here we are. You're ready. Is there another card? <laughs> Should I take another card? I don't know. I feel compelled to take another card. I wanted to leave it at that, but apparently no. All right, let's see if there's another card that has to come out. Aquarius. Weekly Money and Curry. Oh, too many cards. No, no, no. No, just one card or two. I don't want ten. It's a message for the road. Just one card. Okay. Okay, well, no. Same. Okay. All right, so that just means that it's a collective decision, right? A team decision to do this, to do the right thing after battles, ego battles, who's the boss, right? Who's the boss? Or who's going to be the boss? I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Please comment down below. Let me know if this is, if you connect with this. Let me know if you resonate with this. Let me know. Let me know what this is all about, Aquarius. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and everyone for connecting, for sharing your energies, for sharing your journeys. Gratitude, gratitude to each and every one. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna say that the magic word is bossing up. Bossing up. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, I was just waiting to see if there was another word popping in, but we're just gonna leave it at bossing up. You will connect. You will connect. Um, again, thank you so much for watching Aquarius. Have a great week. Take care. Don't forget, if you are interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put bossing up down below in the comment section. And don't forget to be subscribed because this is the last week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Aquarius. A great week. Take care. Bye-bye.